You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD. Good morning and welcome to the Chrysler Proving Grounds. It's media day and we're here to talk about what's new for 2014. My name is Graham Henkel. I'm the chief engineer of the SRT Viper and you're looking at the new 2014 SRT Viper TA. So I'd like to take a few minutes to just tell you a little bit about this new car. Uh, but first, let's, for those of you who may not be familiar with the SRT Viper, let's uh, explain uh, what the Viper is. So you'll recall, uh, Viper has been in production for about 20 years at Chrysler. And for us, it's always been our highest performance flagship, uh, kind of a race car for the street. And uh, after a few years hiatus, the Viper returned in 2013 as an all new Viper uh, for the street and the track. And uh, the new Viper, uh, uh, responding to what our customers have told us, has developed a split personality. The, the base Viper, the SRT Viper, has a very hardcore racetrack-like performance and feel, but we've also added a new model Viper called the GTS, which is uh, adds uh, a lot of modern amenities that our buyers have asked for. The new GTS has a two-mode suspension, so it has uh, a firm handling on the track, but also a soft ride on the street. And inside the GTS, we have modern electronics, and, and the car has everything inside wrapped in leather. So, so it's a very rich uh, interior on the GTS that competes with any supercar in the world. The new Viper also features all carbon bodywork across the top of the car. And here we can open up the clamshell hood and show you a little bit about this. All carbon fiber, hand laid up, um, authentic aero, aerospace grade material. This TA model also features carbon fiber spoiler on the back and carbon front corner splitters on the front. And of course the, the gorgeous interior we talked about earlier. Uh, under the hood, of course it wouldn't be a Viper if it wasn't extremely powerful, and the, the 2013 and 14 Vipers feature a, uh, an all-aluminum big bore V10 producing 640 horsepower. This particular TA model um, is dressed out with a, a carbon fiber X brace that adds structural stiffness over the engine compartment as well. So the new Viper has two different models, the base car and the, the uh, GTS. So what's new for 2014? Well, this TA model is the new exciting thing uh, for 2014. Um, of course, we race the Viper both in American Le Mans and in fact, our team just returned from the 24 hours of Le Mans in France. And uh, why do we go to races all the time? Well, of course, we go to races to improve the breed. Our engineers learn a great deal by racing cars on the track, and, and Viper is, uh, of course, a perfect showcase of that. Both of the Vipers finished at Le Mans did, were very competitive, and we learned a lot. Um, part of what we're learning, we, of course, put into performance models like this TA. The new TA for 14 features um, our, our aggressive course attire, but it also features, we've taken uh, parts, the best of the parts uh, from the Viper and put the, the go fast parts and put them into this car. Uh, examples of the, the pieces are, we've taken the Damptronic two mode coilover shocks and put them on this car, retuned them for a very high performance on the racetrack ability. This car also adds uh, Brembo brakes that add a, a significant thermal mass. What that means is if you're the driver who wants to go to the track, drive the car as fast as it can go for as many laps as you can, these brakes will provide fade-free performance on any road course. Uh, we've also given them an anodized paint uh, and kind of set them off with a very hardcore, racy uh, appearance. The wheel design is also derived from our Le Mans race cars. If you see those cars, this is the same, same design wheel. It's extremely stiff, very lightweight, again, very high performance. 
Uh, we've also added solid anti-sway bars front and rear and, and retuned a, num a number of other components to, give, uh, to make this new Viper TA uh, the highest performance car you can buy for the road today. And I'm proud to tell you that this car holds the track record at Laguna Seca uh, in California faster than any other street car that's been there. So thanks for listening in and uh, thanks for taking a look at the Viper today. Good morning. My name is Pat Doherty and I'm the head of sales and product development at Mopar. Um, we're out at Chelsea Proving Grounds on what's turned out to be a beautiful day and we're taking you through some of our new product that we, we've uh, put out in the marketplace. Now we've got a couple concept vehicles that I want to take you through and show you what we're doing. Uh, but conceptually we're not going to build this exact vehicle but a lot of the parts and pieces on it we plan to bring to market and we're in development right now. So this vehicle right here we call the Sand Trooper. This vehicle has a 6.4 liter Apache Hemi engine in it. Um, it will deliver quite a bit of power when you're going off-roading. The vehicle is built for the outdoors. This vehicle we put some beautiful wheels and tires on it. Um, the, the wheels are designed so that uh, you've, you've obviously got the wheel mounted properly. You can go almost anywhere and do almost anything. Um, one of the newer trends in off-roading is uh, to take these vehicles off-road at night. And one of the things that maybe you can see in the camera here is we've mounted some, uh, some lights on the inside of this vehicle that will uh, light the roads and the rocks so that when the guys are going off-roading and trailing, guys and gals I should say, are off-roading, they can actually see the rocks they're climbing over. So we've got lights positioned strategically so that you can actually see the road at night. Um, on this vehicle, we've equipped it. It has the 10th anniversary Rubicon bumper. This bumper has a cutout in it in the front here where you can mount a winch. And we have a, a deal that we've worked with Warren Winch, a very famous um, winch maker, where their mount fits right inside this bracket here so that if you get yourself in a difficult situation, you can pull yourself out. Or if you're off-roading with somebody else, you can help them out and pull them out. This vehicle has a specially designed performance hood that allows you to breathe more air into the engine compartment so the vehicle doesn't overheat while you're on the trails. It has um, special axles to allow for greater wheel travel. It has portal axles on it. Now portal axles are um, uh, more for the extreme off-roader, but these portal axles will allow you um, a tremendous amount of wheel travel that you normally couldn't get in an off-road vehicle. So we, we view these vehicles as uh, like we're in a laboratory and we can try and take them to their, their most extreme. And so um, we take these vehicles out to Moab for the Easter Jeep Safari every year and we climb rocks with them and we bring all the press out and they get a chance to experience our, uh, our designs and what we're trying to do with them. Um, some of the other features on the vehicle that I didn't point out, this vehicle is uh, specially painted. It's got a matte finish to it. Um, we tried to give our vehicles kind of that off-road maybe have a little bit of a, um, a link to uh, the heritage of uh, the military look so they have a flat finish to them. Um, on the inside of the vehicle we have uh, cat skin leather seats so we've put a special seat in here to make it more comfortable for the driver. Um, fitted a beautiful leather wrap around it. Uh, the vehicle has all the diagnostics to tell you exactly what's going on while you're on the trail. Around the back of the vehicle We've designed a, a, a nice bumper for the rear of it as well, which allows you to uh, clear rocks. It's very uh, narrow. Um, it doesn't have too much overhang, so you're not gonna catch your off-road vehicle on any rock as you're, you're uh, coming down the back side of a slope. Um, we have protectors for all the lights so that you won't break those while you're off on the road. We put a special tire carrier on here. Obviously, these wheels and tires are very heavy, so the arm that carries this wheel and tire will, uh, will hold up to 180 pounds. So you can put a, put a big, beautiful uh, uh, wheel on the back of it. Um, obviously, when you're off-roading, sometimes you do have some flat tires, so it's very important for off-roaders to be able to carry that extra wheel and tire. Um, and as I said, we're, we're in development right now of this beadlock wheel. This beadlock wheel is a forged wheel versus uh, traditional cast. So 
Um, these wheels are especially made to be stronger than a typical cast wheel out on the trail. Uh, they're in development right now. We should have those in the market sometime uh, toward the end of this year. So we're looking forward to selling those. As I said, some of these vehicles have equipment on them that we're going to bring to market. The wheels on both of these Jeeps will. This is a rock rail that we've installed. So when you're uh, coming up over the top of some of these big rocks, you're likely to, uh, to run into something that may uh, dent your vehicle. So we've installed rock rails on both these Jeeps so that uh, that, that doesn't happen. This Wrangler was just built this year to take out to Moab, Utah. Uh, it has a battleship gray finish. Um, it has, uh, uh, we have a worn winch installed in our, again, this is a, a, a Rubicon 10th anniversary bumper. We've designed this bumper so it can come in multiple configurations. This one's been shortened. The reason we shorten it is we don't want that bumper to catch on anything when you're off road. So normally the bumpers would come out to the outer side of the wheel you can see that we shortened this bumper. We put what we call a stinger. This is a uh, brush guard in the front of it. Um, it. It keeps the vehicle, the front of the vehicle, from becoming damaged. Um, we're building this at Mopar. This is offered. We'll have it in the market sometime around November. Again, with a worn winch in front. Uh, a brand new um, Rubicon uh, performance hood for with cold air intakes and heat exhaust. Uh, this vehicle has uh, all the way around it, it has a little different suspension system than the, the Sand Trooper. This one has uh, Dana 60 axles and uh, they are very durable, very strong for uh, the ultimate test in off-roading um, while keeping the cost of the conversion uh, more affordable. So when you put the Dana 60 on as opposed to a portal axle, it's less expensive. Uh, we have some unique features on this vehicle as well. Again, we have the rock rails. Um, we kind of gave this a battleship kind of theme, so you'll see that we call it the USS Mopar, USS Mopar Recon. Um, on the inside of the vehicle, we also did the seats in kind of a, a camouflage gray, black, and white, so uh, a unique seat insert, uh, a special dash, dash that has a, uh, a battleship kind of look and feel to it. And then one of the features that we love uh, on this vehicle is uh, we decided, our designers decided, well, whenever you're out on the trail, you always are carrying a cooler with you because you never want to run out of beverages. We put a special bottle opener right in the back of the vehicle where you can open your bottles right in the J of the Jeep. Again, the, the heavy duty arm for the wheel that allows you to put up to 180 pound wheel and tire mounted on it. The brush guards for the lights and again, a color keyed beadlock wheel. So we've done a tremendous amount to this vehicle. Uh, the fender flares, um, we, we cut out the fenders to allow this wheel and the wheel travel, put special fender flares on it. Uh, beautiful vehicle. This one has Fox shocks on it. Uh, so it has uh, what many in the industry love and uh, uh, ultimate performance machine. The Jeep Recon is fitted with a 5.7 liter Hemi engine, so this one has a 5.7 and the Sand Trooper had the 6.4. Um, the ultimate in off-roading experiences, these are fantastic Jeeps. We hope you buy all our equipment from us. With that, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoy the vehicles. Thank you for coming and see you next year. You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD.